gonna be showing you the best easiest, simplest, tiniest way for you to run your own media center at home. I've got one of these things. Look at that. This is a computer. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. This is not a USB stick, not a pen drive. This is a fully fledged computer. And that is not a USB port. It's actually a HDMI port. It's called an Intel stick. It's got RAM, CPU, a hard drive, and a motherboard all built into the one unit. Got a number of USB ports. All you got to do is you get yourself a screen, a TV, whatever it may be, plug this sucker in and you've got Windows running directly off here. You can install Windows 10. You can then go and install some media software. We're going to be using a solution called Plex and Plex is brilliant. If you've got a whole bunch of videos, you know, video files, you can actually scan them. You can make them into nice names, into folders. And then you can literally play everything directly off here, plugging it directly into your TV. Before we do get into this, hey, you're watching this on a tech channel and thank you for stopping by. If you are new, welcome, thank you so much. But we release videos every week. So if you want to stay up to date, why don't you click on the button and on the bell. All right, let's now go through the steps and get this thing running. Now, before we go and actually download Plex, there are two different types of Plex. There is the Plex player and there's also the Plex media server. Now the server is what we need to go and install on our little Intel stick. And that actually acts as the server. That's where you manage all of your media, you manage all of your videos. And then there are essentially are Plex players that you can install on multiple devices, including your phone, another computer, and then you, uses the server, goes and searches your network, you play those videos straight from that server on the player. We're gonna actually download the Plex server and set it up. And we'll also download the Plex player and set it up on the same computer. We're gonna go and download Plex. So Plex into there. And here it is, Plex stream movies and TV shows. First thing, go into download. And here you see you've got get the app and Plex Pro downloads. So what we need to install and configure is our Plex Media Server, and then we download the Plex app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the Plex Media Server on our computer for Windows. Then we install the Plex app for our Windows as well for the desktop. So let's firstly go and get this one, the Plex Media Server. Here it is. This is gonna be for Windows 7, but of course we're running Windows 10 or 11 on your Intel stick. You'll have the installer for Plex now on your desktop or in your downloads folder. Go ahead and double click on it, and then you actually go and install Plex directly onto your computer, the Plex Media Server directly onto the computer. You now need to create yourself a Plex account. If you already have one, great. You just sign in with, you can continue with one of your existing services and essentially you'll be able to log in with those credentials into your Plex account, or you can create a brand new one. In our case, we're gonna create a brand new account using my email. And this is essentially what we've just done. How Plex works, Plex runs on the computer where you keep all your media, which is our little Intel, then we go and scan your media. So we're gonna go and have your media connected into that little Intel stick. So you could have all of your videos directly on that, or you could have it plugged in with an external hard drive if you have a lot more content. And then you play your media with one of your apps. So in our case, we're gonna run it on the same computer. If you wanna use Plex Pass, this is great. Now I recommend it, and I've got, as I said, in the link below, I've got a link to that Plex Pass if you wanna set it up, but it lets you essentially have an enhanced Plex experience with exclusive premium features, which is what you can see right here. Not very, very expensive at all, but gives you a whole heap of additional things, additional features that um, is super helpful. I use it, so why don't you look at getting that as well. We now give it a name, so I'm gonna be calling it My Media Box. You can give it your relevant friendly name. Do you want to allow me to access my media outside my home? Now this is gonna allow you to be able to log in to Plex regardless of where you are. So you can tick that or not tick that. So now we start to organize all of our media. So if you've got a whole bunch of media on your computer connected to that Intel stick, you're now gonna point Plex to that media. You could have a folder containing all of your videos. You go and tell Plex to point to that particular folder. You may have some home movies. You may have some TV shows that you've purchased, for example. You may wanna go and point it to that. And then that way it's actually gonna scan that library and actually go and download cover art, do all of that automatically, which is great. And then it's sort of a centrally managed location for all of your video content. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select add library. We're gonna select movies. We're gonna call it movies. We're gonna select next. And now we go and browse for media folders. So it's gonna click on this. You're gonna open up a Windows Explorer and then you go and navigate to the location of your movies folder, which is where all of your movies are being kept. You can then create a brand new one called TV shows. 
Now what you may notice is that you've got the library type at the top. So this is gonna go and look and scan the internet for a different sort of library where all of the cover art and things like that are all kept. So if you've got mainly movies, documentaries, maybe concerts, things of that nature, you select movies. If you've got TV shows with different episodes, select TV shows. If you've got your own home movies, your own stuff that you've maybe gone on a trip, you've got on a holiday somewhere, you maybe wanna select other videos because there's no, there's no library to go and scan that material because it's your own personal stuff. Music and photos, you go and select your music and photos if that's what you wanna manage inside your Plex server. TV shows, next, and browse. Now once all of that is set up, we then click on next. Now it's asking you to go and get the apps themselves. Now remember this is just the server, so we're now gonna go and download the Plex app to install onto our Intel stick, so you can actually execute the Plex server from that Plex player that is now running. But if you've got other devices on your network, such as a smart device, a smartphone, then you can also connect to it. You can connect to the server by installing the Plex app on your device. Now with Plex open, the Plex server, you'll see that's already got a whole bunch of material in here. This is already populated by Plex themselves, but you've got music and live TV, which is a couple that we had, movies and shows, which was already pre-configured. And here is the movies library that we created. And I pointed that to the movies folder. And here is some videos that I've actually got in there. Now, if you had a real life movie, you would actually go and scan that cover art and the blurb and what that movie is about directly off the internet. And you can easily manage all of that from that one central location. And you can go and customize this as much as you want. You can actually go and reorder it. You can rescan. You could add additional items into your Plex server. Now that is the Plex server and that is now running directly on that Intel stick. But now we wanna make it a little bit better, a better experience. So we're gonna go and download the Plex app. So back on here, we're now gonna go and download and we're gonna say for desktop. And we're of course gonna be downloading the Plex for Windows. So we're gonna go and select that one right there. And now this is the Plex player. We are running, it's working well. You can sign in if you wanna get some additional features. But now this is slightly different. This is not the server, this is now the player. You can go and select the relevant thing that you wanna go and play. You then click on it and it'll start to play. If you wanna get Plex in the show notes below in the description, I've actually got a link directly to Plex. So you can actually click on that and you can go and download it yourself. It's completely for free. If you do want some premium subscription features, you can also subscribe and you get some additional stuff. And that's the end. Subscribe, click on the button on the bell, like if you did like this video and comment below. Let us know what you thought. Let us know how you went as well. Why don't you stay tuned for the next video where we talk about all things tech. We'll see you next time.